And today I've done a five looks with the Morphe Artistry palette. I believe it's the 25L. This is their Pride palette that they released for Pride Month with proceeds going towards the Trevor Project. Uh, it is limited edition. I believe it's no longer available in America, but us lucky Australians can still get our hands on it. It is $30 Australian. I think it's $7 posted. Anyway, let's get into some looks. Even if you just want to see some rainbow looks or me trying to get a bit creative, feel free to keep on watching. I'll have timestamps in the description bar below and at the end I'll have a chat to you about this palette. For every look today I've used the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre as my primer. This is the only time I'm going to show you in a video. In this video at least. I'll probably keep showing you in other videos but you know. So we're going into art which is this sort of very softly pigmented blue and I'm putting this in my crease and blending it in. Then we're going into Parade which is more of an aqua dark blue has a bit more pigment which is quite lovely. I'm just putting this in my outer corner and bend, blending it up to my crease and then putting it underneath my waterline. Going into nature which is a beautiful green. I'm putting this into my crease just to give it a bit more depth after that art shade left some nice pigment. Then using rise up which is this shimmery blue with my tiny little brush I'm putting this on and we're doing a halo look for the very first look today. So I'm just packing it towards the inner corner and on the outer part of my corner. Pack, pack, pack. The shimmers are really not that good so it took a lot of packing. I did have to spritz my brush just to give it a little bit of extra bang. Then I'm using Peace which is a nice vibrant blue and placing that in between the, the rise shade. Then we're going to make Magic which is a bit more of a lighter blue shade. I'm putting that one on my inner corner just for a bit of a blue green dimension we're going on and then I'm ducking off camera and coming back with the completed look. So we've got Urban Decay Freak on my waterline, the Australia Stamp It liner and this is the clear one. For everything else it is listed in the description bar. We're going to look number two. We're using Sunlight. This is a beautiful yellow that I was really quite impressed with how well it worked. I'm just sort of tapping out a bit of the that paint pot and then I'm blending that yellow into my crease. I was really quite impressed with this. It did take a while to build up but it, it's quite good. Then we're using Thrive, Thrive which is a mustardy yellow and I'm putting this on my outer corner and bringing it up in my crease and underneath my eye. Then going to healing and I'm showing you this eye because this is the eye where you can see where I really struggled with putting it on and just ended up using my finger. Then Activism, which is a shimmery green, and I'm putting that on my inner corner. And here we have the finale of look number two, a yellow green look. What do you think? I'm, I'm quite like the shade. I really like the teaspoon Colourpop liner that's on my waterline. And here is my full look in, you know, my full face. And we're back for look number three. We're going in with sexuality. This is a beautiful pink and I'm putting this on my crease and just blending it in. It's not bad. It's quite a good pink. Uh, these mattes are quite impressive in this palette I've got to say and this pink is doing a good job. So we are pouring that through the crease and a bit further out to the outer corner. I'm just blending that out. This is my MAC 217 brush. It's one of my favorites. Then we're going into SF. And I'm just putting this on my outer corner. I drew my little triangle and I'm filling that in now for a bit of definition and then blending it in towards the crease. Then going in with Rise Up again. This is that blue. I'm just packing this all over the lid and we're going to do a nice pink pebble look for this one. I did spritz it with Max Fix Plus and now we're going in with Peace. And this is just going on my inner corner and then I'm going in with Hashtag Love Wins. And this is going underneath my eye, you know, it around. This is a really nice shade. The pigment of it is not showing up that well here, but I do do it a bit better in another look. I'm just bringing that up and then sort of bringing it up to meet the other one. Then I've gone off camera and here is the final look. I don't know if I went like a bit too crazy with that blue on my inner corner, but to be honest, I love, I love a bright inner corner. This is what it looks like in my full face. Wearing Colourpop in Humble Pie. And we are off to look number three. We're going in with SF. I did promise you we were going to use that shade a bit more. 
and I'm just putting this in my crease. Sorry, that looks so bad. It does look better, I, I promise you. And we're just building it up, building it up, tapping into the brush and getting a bit more pigment on it. And then we are blending it into the crease. Just, I really wanted this dark pink moment. Then I'm bringing it down into my outer corner and underneath my eye and blending it through there. Then we go into NYC and this is a look where I tried to get really, really creative. I'm not sure how it went. Do let me know on your upcoming thoughts. Anyway, I'm packing NYC on the outer part of my corner. For a black, it's not doing too bad. And then I'm mixing it with that SF shade and just trying to blend it down a bit. I'm bringing it a bit into my inner corner as well and then I've used the Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Fair 00 to try and create a cut crease. And what I was trying to create here is like it starts small and then it gets big but then it kind of just became like a dome. So just know I really tried. <laughs> anyway, we're going back into sunlight which is this yellow and I'm just packing this on there and building it up. What I sort of found is the Colourpop No Filter Concealer had dried at the top and there really wasn't much fixing it at all. I did really try, blend it out, but it just wasn't budging. So I'm going in with Stonewall and just putting that in my inner corner for a nice little bang bang moment. And here is the final look with all the stuff on my eyes. It's, it's not bad, I just, every time I see the above my eye with the yellow, here is what the look looks like from afar. I do really like it when my eyes are open and here we are I should try and go a bit harder with the blending and I thought it looked a bit better with my hair up which one do you prefer then we're going to look number four we're using pride and this is going up in my crease and above my crease I'm just gently blending it in this is quite a lovely peach shade Then we're going into culture, which is a shimmer, and I decided to put this in my crease because we are living dangerously today. And I really like the way I blended in. Life is a beautiful maroon red, burgundy red, and I'm just putting this underneath my eye, sort of trying to blend it out, bring it up from that triangle in the outer corner and then blending it out. Building it up and blending, and this is what I found worked best for this shade. Then I'm going to Liberation, which is this, I think it's more like a pressed glitter yellow white. It's quite pretty. Then I decided to try out Stonewall again and just put this a bit on my outer portion of my eye. And then I'm going to 1978, which is this beautiful lilac purple. Then going back to hashtag love wins and I'm blending this underneath my eye. And here we have the final look with everything put on my face. Anyway. I had a lot of fun playing with this palette actually and I had a lot of fun creating different looks with this. Let me know what your favourite look was. I'd absolutely love to know. For a Morphe palette, it's not bad. I've done the, some Morphe reviews before and I really didn't like, I didn't like one of the ones I had. But this palette really just drew me in with the Rainbow Story colour. It was pretty affordable and it just seemed like a fun one to pick up. I was really impressed with the black. That was impressive. The mattes in this are actually really good and the shimmers kind of all suck but you can make them work with your finger which is pretty awesome. Ultimately this is a great palette to pick up and I think this should be a permanent in the Morphe range. I don't understand why this isn't in the Morphe's permanent range because it is probably my favourite palette I've ever seen them release and it is just very versatile, very easy to use and I mean the shimmers do suck but there's quite a lot of mattes in here that make up for that. So this is a great palette to pick up for yourself. You just want to have fun and don't want to break the bank. So I am sorry if you can't get this palette. I actually quite enjoyed it and I quite enjoyed playing with it. Like I said, it is still up on the Australian Morphe website if you do want it and you're an Australian. That is, yeah. Um, so that summarizes my thoughts on this Morphe palette. I hope you enjoyed watching the looks and I hope you come back. I hope you check out some more. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate it and do you. Thank you.